Thank you very much, first of all, for speaking to Metro.co.uk. Anytime, Duncan. Viewers have just watched a really high octane episode that has seen you live fighting for your life. What was it like to film those uh, stunt scenes? It was great, you know. I mean, I didn't think um, I'd have as. Uh, doing the stunts, sometimes you're only allowed to do a certain amount of stuff, but we had a great stunt coordinator, Glenn, who kind of set up some of the stuff so the actors could have more input and have more involvement, which was really fun, you know. So it was great to be on location um, in a different place, doing different things with quite a large crew. Um, it was nice to kind of, like, everyone's in it for the same thing. Everyone's trying to get the right shots for the story. And, yes, it's, and a so bit it's nice, yeah, yeah. It feels... feels yeah. It's nice. Every day you wake up, you're like, oh, it's going to be something new today. <laughs> yeah. So. When you read the scripts, uh, were, were you a little bit nervous when you saw what happened to catch you, Ryan? Did you I mean, think, oh, this is it for me? there's always an element of that, but at the same time, it was kind of, I was kind of more just chuffed to kind of be involved in one of the storylines they were, they were doing for this week. You know, it's a, it's a big week. Um, and just getting something with a bit of juice because my character's been blessed to come in and kind of start building dynamics with people and start having kind of quirky conversational stuff. And, and there has been some heated stuff and it's been really good, but this was really kind of really juicy so it was kind of nice to just get a little bit more of an element of that yeah and often you see like a stunt is like the end of a story but for this really this is the beginning of what must be a very big story well you never know i mean with with right i mean with ryan that's the thing you never know when you when your time's up mm. so you know you kind of just hope that there's more to come and at the same time You've got to have gratitude for whatever you've been given and what you've been offered. And that's what I try and tend to focus on rather than looking too far down the line. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, there's been this tension throughout, and um, even when Ryan was a different face, there's been this tension between Ryan and Ali. Um, and I, I do quite enjoy playing that. that Love playing that, time. yeah. I mean, James is absolutely fantastic actor. And I, we get along like a house on fire. So, you know, as time goes on, we've kind of got that opportunity to, to build that dynamic between us in real life and actually have a real relationship. And that kind of gives us more uh, licensing to kind of push each other and, and find little nuanced things, you know, uh, whatever's going on in the script. Um, so, yeah, it's great. It's fun. And with them not even being brothers, it's nice to actually try and find the, the elements of a sibling rivalry and the, the ups and downs of, of that kind of dynamic without having that dynamic at the same time. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And theoretically and totally spoiler free, how do you think that Ryan might react to what Ali has done, the decision that he made to... If he gets to react to it, yeah. if yeah. I wake up, um, I mean, it could go either way for Ryan because I think he, he's getting to the point where he starts to figure Ali out. And I think that's he's been quite threatened by Ali, especially with his relationship with with the the mom. Um, so at the same time of him being that would kind of push him away from what he thought the kind of person he might be, and I think that might scare him. But at the same time, he could be well pleased. He's, he was he was one of the only ones for quite a while that was aware of how dangerous uh, Ronan was and how much of a threat he actually put on the family. Um, so. You know, if if he got the chance to to either way, it could it could be grateful, he could be scared. I don't know. It could go either way. Yeah. If if it goes up that way, yeah. Exactly. And, and just to, if he did survive, obviously we don't know if he does. But if if he did go through this, um, do you think something like this? Because he could blame himself a lot for all of this attempt to his family, to pull down Michelle, Ali, and everyone. Do you think this might be a wake up call to him? Could it force him to grow up at all? I mean, if. Um, it, yeah, if he wakes up, um, yeah, Ryan is kind of, I think he's at that part of his life anyway where he's kind of just decided that he's willing to actually invest in his life and the people that are going to be in his life. Um, and the fact is kind of all about the family for that. I think he wants to, to have something a little bit more real. You know, he's been running away from himself and his problems and stuff he's done in the past for a long time. And, you know, it could be a make or break situation for him, you know, if he woke up. He's the kind of he's the kind of person that would try and just get on with it as well to try and you know because he he's a cheeky chap and he always kind of gets away with what he can but at the same time he's not stupid you know he's not soft he's gonna look around and and see what it's done to the family and you know he's gonna take that on at the same time he he's he's always looking for what what why it isn't his fault yeah. you know because in his mind something tragic has happened and he's tried to do the right, he's always had the right intention, you know, and it never seems to go to plan. So 
I'm sure if he had the chance, he would filter through that. Um, but yeah. And, and finally, really, do you, have you you've been in Corrie for a, a while now? Have do you starting to get recognised on the streets? Do you get a lot of reaction? Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially in the north, especially mm -hmm. in Manchester yeah. and Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, we love um, Corrie here, don't we? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's people love the show, so you know you got to remember that people have been watching the show a very, very long time. It's like a subculture now, especially up here. Um, so yeah, you do get recognised in the street. It's often strange when people say, "Hey, Ryan," and I turn around and don't know if it's someone I know or if it's not, you know, because Ryan Ryan, so, but that's, it's always nice, people are people, and I'm always quite happy to, to speak to people and make new friends. And so you're enjoying pictures. the experience overall? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It has its ups and downs, of course, mm -hmm. um, but most definitely enjoying it, loving it.